Welcome to this tutorial about creating an inventory system in Unity based on scriptable objects. At the end of this tutorial we are going to see a inventory system that allows us to see a description of an item and we are going to also talk about how to add specific description like durability for a sword item. We are also going to be able to drag the item and move it around and if we close the inventory and reopen it the order will stay the same. We are going to also be implementing different functionality for each item. For example, if I select this apple, I can see that uh, by right clicking I can eat the apple or drop it. If I eat the apple, I will regain some health. And if I eat all the apples, the item will be uh, removed from my inventory. For other items, we can see that there is the different functionality. For example, for my sword, I can see that I can equip the item or drop it. If I equip it, it will be removed from my inventory and moved to a test uh, equipment script. And I can of course drop the item. It will also be removed from my inventory. I'm going to also show you how to integrate this with some sort of a very simple pickup system so we can simply pick up items from the ground and again I can right click on the item and equip it and as you can see the second sword has decreased durability. This is the sword that was currently equipped and it was returned to the inventory and the new sword was equipped instead. Hi I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. As I have mentioned before, we will use scriptable object to create our inventory system data structure. This should allow us to persist our inventory system data between different scenes as long as each scene contains a reference to our inventory scriptable object. Now to keep the code base maintainable, I'm going to also show you how we can use model view controller design pattern to split the code behind the model so our inventory scriptable object and the view so the inventory UI. If it sounds interesting, in the next video we are going to pre prepare our starter project so we can follow along with me in this tutorial. And before we go to the next video, thanks a lot to my Patreons, thanks to your support guys, I can make those tutorials. You can join up by following the link in the description and support the channel and I will list you in each video. Okay, see you in the next video.